Yeah, Reykjavik is the smallest big city in the world. So it really uh, always affects my art, I would say, definitely. It's a, it's a really uh, special city, has a village vibe to it, uh, has, you know, the, the full spectrum of, of humanity in it. You're always like bringing your upbringing with you into all your work, you know, you're always bringing your full mental, you know, physique into, into your work. And of course my, you know, mental state and physique and mental being is just, you know, comprised of the fact that I grew up in like a multi, multicultural household, like multilingual household. You just kind of, you know, get better in like inspecting, investigating and respecting different cultures, you know. But I really love this keyboard. I bought it uh, in the like the, I, I always call it the Icelandic eBay, you know, <laughs> bought it. This is a Uno 106. It cost me like $70, which is like a, like a fairy tale, you know. If I feel like really inspired by something, I'll definitely have to research it. Uh, like my last album was really inspired by some production sessions I did uh, in Sierra Leone and uh, you know, uh, I really felt like inspired by by uh, African pop music, uh, so I really just had to kind of uh, research it, uh, you know, figure out what's happening, why why it's happening in the music, and trying to you know uh, grab the elements that I really like uh, to do them justice, and uh, you know to uh, also just to respect the, the the music that I'm you know inspired by. Uh, I mean, it's really important if you're working on, uh, if you want to do a good project, like um, whatever it is, you really always have to do the research, like the research is uh, crucial.